This is Dr. Garrett Castleberry, Program Director for Communication, Media, and Ethics at Mid-America Christian University. And I am here for our Communication 4603 Creating Social Media Presence and Cultural Movements class. In this course, we are working on a dynamic style of asynchronous interviewing. And so a lot of our readings and our uh, weekly assignments are geared toward improving the art and the craft and even understanding the digital execution of interviewing. And so with me I have our week one interviewee or I guess we can call it interviewee number one since some of you may be viewing this outside of the context of our five-week fast-track course. And um, what we're going to do here, we're going to introduce our guest, and then we are going to jump right into your questions. Uh, our students have been compiling questions, written interview protocols we've shared with our guest in advance, as well as um, some video questions. So very excited uh, to see our students in action, uh, communicating across digital channels, right? Uh, we are covering multiple platforms, people, and so uh, without further ado, we will we will jump in. We will shift between some of your written questions as well as the video questions, and we will just see uh, you know how long we have and 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 find a great place to 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 stop uh, that. But uh, with me joining here today is Michael Bergen. And uh, Michael works with a couple of different areas, uh, professionally and personally. And uh, I'll allow him to introduce those areas to us before we jump into some of the questions we have from our students. So first Great. of all, thank you for joining us, Michael. Thank you for having me very much. Appreciate it. Uh, like you said, my name is Michael Bergen, uh, Senior Information Specialist at the Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Conservation. That is the state agency charged with conserving Oklahoma's wildlife populations. We do that in a range of ways. We have, you know, you you may have seen us primarily as uh, as game wardens or law officers in the field who are uh, out and about, um, maybe in local communities, uh, enforcing wildlife laws. That's tends to be the face of our agency as our game wardens. But we also have biologists. We also have administrators. We also have communication specialists uh, like myself, whose job it is uh, to get the messages of the department uh, into the. Uh, consumable form for the public so that you know when we're talking about conservation what we mean by it and what we hope uh, the public takes from that are the very things that uh, you know are, are being communicated across and so my job there uh, is generally centered on marketing social media things like that um, and uh, you know that that includes a whole range of things of course I know we're emphasizing social media and so I do a lot of that um, you know, it's a powerful tool these days, whereas, you know, not that long ago we were relegated mainly to things like print media, um, televised media that is done in, in advance of news oftentimes. So social mm -hmm. media, you know, really obviously is a game changer, brings us up to speed into immediate contact with uh, constituents. Um, and then in addition to that, I also uh, have a uh, kind of a private endeavor uh, work. Uh, created a, a small farm business, uh, Good Neighbor Farms. It's a uh, local, fresh, small produce operation, and, and believe it or not, you employ a lot of the same social media and marketing mm -hmm. uh, tactics, if you will, efforts uh, to do that as well. So we can talk about any and all of that, um, whatever anybody wants to. Excellent. So what we will do is we're going to field some questions, and then um, I may also, uh, in addition, look for opportunities at follow-up questions based on some of um, some of those sparks you all are creating through your commentary. And um, one of the things, just to make clear off the bat, is we could possibly toggle between discussing not only the uh, um, Oklahoma Department of Wildlife Department Conservation. Department of Wildlife oh, Cons Conservation. Um, it's, like, it's not like say, saying uh, 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 American Christian University, <laughs> right? Or right. creating social media presence. Right. It, it, it's a hard to get out until you practice it enough. But uh, also talking about the Good Neighbor Farm. So um, we will highlight a couple of different areas, and we could easily shift between uh, conversations of, of each. And so just in terms of background clarification, our course, Creating Social Media Presence Cultural Movements, while anyone could take it as an upper-level elective, it's for communication majors. And our, our program, once again, the Communication Media and Ethics, 
Talk about your background. Is is your degree a communication degree, or can you unpack that a little bit? How does yeah. how does mm-hmm. that translate into thus what you do? Yeah. So you know, a lot of universities have some type of communication degree. Mm-hmm. Um, where I went to school, uh, Southwestern Oklahoma State University out in Weatherford, Oklahoma, uh, it was the way they organized it was you got a degree in uh, communication, but you emphasized an area. And you could pick, uh, you know, public speaking, journalism, uh, or mass, mass communication, I think mm-hmm. was the, actually the emphasis. And that was my emphasis. Uh, it, was a, it was actually a degree in communication with an emphasis in mass communication. Uh, and then I minored in marketing. And I was actually, they were completely oh. different schools. Uh, you know, marketing is obviously in the school of business, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, they, they kind of went well together. Uh, and, and at that school, that's just, the, that was the best uh, path to be able to uh, take in some marketing and where it crosses over with social media. There's, there's a lot of dis- discussion and confusion about the difference between the two, but, but they tie in nicely. And so, you know, went to, went to school and got that degree and then uh, that basically exposed me to a number of different communication disciplines, journalism, uh, media, theory, some video, you know, a little bit of everything, public speaking. Uh, and you basically, as a student there, got a well-rounded picture and you chose, you, from there you can pretty much choose any area to dive more into. Mm-hmm deep in your understanding, you know. Mm-hmm. And before we jump into uh, our, our, our students' questions, which are fantastic, looking forward to that, I want to make one, one last um, uh, claim, right, for that area of uh, communication as its own discipline. And that is um, sometimes it can be uh, either a hard commitment for a student to make or a, 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 a tricky sell um, for someone advertising um, the, the communication degree platform. But you uh, represent a, a sort of storied path of taking on different distinct yet interconnected roles and professions with your communication degree, right? So yeah. um, do you view that as, uh, is it even more open today? Is it narrower today than ever? You know, how would you qualify the power of, of like a communication degree to the contemporary student? Oh, well, you know, if, if you know, it's really, it kind of depends on the student, but if you, you know, you, you hear the term grabbing life by the horns, if you grab that study by the horns and you more or less say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take what comes and be flexible, then it is a degree that can really empower you to do a lot of different things. You know, I, I feel like I could go into, uh, you know, um, business today and interview for a lot of different positions that may not even be in, in uh, the communication field because they're still looking for good communicators. They're still looking for people who have the discipline. Uh, and the, the different, uh, I would say, emphasis choices you can go I mean I've done three or four different things in my career all that you know if, if if you just saw them at face value you might not see where they were the same but really it all goes back to uh, the studies that, that I kind of pulled together and, and I would say uh, you know even if you pick an emphasis you can really uh, take a lot of directions you know, mm-hmm. there's a lot of options out mm-hmm. there with the communication degree well, speaking of options, we have a lot of options right here. Uh, we are going to take a peek at your video questions you have submitted. And uh, it should be synced up in a way where they're audible here, but you won't catch the video. Um, but if you are a part of our, our online class, log into D2L, you can catch, and most of you have, each other's video questions and provide even uh, uh, some feedback there. So let's jump in and I'd say, let's start with a question from, where'd he go? Let's, let's tackle John's question, all right? So here's a question from John. We'll listen up and allow uh, Michael to, to respond here. All right. 